some goodies. Did you bring that for me? Yep. All of this is for you. I thought so... he was getting a takeaway. <laughs> no? no? No, no. It's all about home cooking. Oh, no, that's, so... that's, that's a lot of hard work, isn't it? No, it's easy and it's fun. So get it all out. So you've got your own tins? I've got my own spice tins, yep. Smells incredible. You've got your own little guide. Tells you all about the spices. Oh, you've got to love cloves. We're going to be cooking four dishes today. Tandoori chicken. We're doing lamb kebabs. We're going to make lemon rice. And then we're going to make um, an aubergine dish. Did anyone tell you that aubergine is my favourite? See, so I have my spies. Yeah. We're going to start on our marinade. I know that you like to cook. Where did that passion uh, come from? Do you know what? As a, as a dad, really, being the, the one who's responsible for what they eat and, you know, the fact that I eat quite healthy, I have to find ways of making healthy food attractive to them. And bless them, they don't like to, to hurt my feelings. <laughs> um, but the other day, I could tell by the amount that they didn't eat that the pea and broad bean fritters <laughs> didn't really go down oh, so really? I said, boy, it's like pancakes. <laughs> But, but it's got peas and broad beans in and a bit of mint. It's and, green, uh, Dad. That's not a pancake. Ah, uh, they just... They didn't fall in love with it. Uh-huh. It's just knowing what got, goes with what. Like, I could never just freestyle it for fear of absolutely messing up whatever it is I'm trying to do. I think it's about confidence and about just trying things and seeing how they work. So garam masala is a combination of about nine different spices. Right. It's a, not the iconic spice blend of the north of India. So if you start to stir all of that up... So I know that you are really focusing on your coaching. What is it about coaching that, that drives you or motivates you? I'm inspired every time I coach someone and I see how much they've improved since they, they last came. Yeah. Or from even the, the minute they sit down and you see that they're sort of so full of anxiety or worry or whatever it is that they're sort of burdened with. And then at the end of it, even after just one hour, they, they just look like a different person. They're like, all of a sudden, they realise that there's options and, and that there is kind of light at the end of the tunnel. So is cooking something that you do as a family? Do you get yeah, the boys, boys involved? Do. and all, As much as possible. The boys, the boys do help. I have one that um, helps out a lot, loves helping, loves getting yeah. involved, and one that only gets involved at a push, you know? Yes, I have one of those and one of those. My daughter is, loves getting involved and helping and my son just couldn't give a monkey's. Mm. Was it one or two? Um, do two, yeah. Just give them a bit of a crush. I've got a bit of a food addiction. It's not proper food either. <laughs> What's that? But again, you might have some suggestions. Um, like peanut butter. We all have these little things that we like. Our vices. We en enjoy. Is there, is there, are there any dishes, Indian dishes, that use peanut butter? Mm, not so much peanut butter. We tend to use a lot of peanuts. Do you? Um, we're going to be using peanuts in the rice that we're doing today. What oil is that? This is just normal rapeseed oil I'm using here. Just rub it into your hands. And you just take a piece of meat. And then you just make them into kebab shapes. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Yeah, I would have got 24 out of this. <laughs> really? But that's fine. Well, you shouldn't have left me to it, should you? <laughs> Rule number one. They look good, though. Um, are you happy with that? Uh, yeah. Really yeah, easy. I'm happy with that. What about you? I think it looks great. Yeah. But in terms of putting it together, difficult, easy? No, come on, it's really, really easy. simple, yeah, isn't just, it? Yeah. Um, and hopefully that'll taste really good. So we'll pop these to one side. So with all your social media activity, I know that you're quite active on Instagram, Twitter, all of that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, and not, not necessarily just for work, but personally as well. well so I think we all just assume that the more Twitter followers we've got, the, the more work we're, we're sort of likely to attract. Yeah. But the truth is, and, and where you're sort of providing a bit of an inspiration for me, is that uh, I need to move at the times. Like, Twitter's, it's great to have a Twitter presence, but I should be posting videos on, on YouTube. Yeah. You know, that's that's really where it's at at the moment. I know that because sometimes my kids come in and they don't put the telly on, they put YouTube, YouTube on. YouTube on it. So how do you engage with your Twitter followers? Say, like, for example, recently what I've done that was really effective was that I wanted to have a discussion about anxiety with my following. And, you know, so, so many people were getting involved. It was so constructive and there were so many people that were answering other people's questions. And yeah. That, that, for me, is what I love Twitter for. Yeah. There you go. I'm just grab a fork and take a little... Have a little taste. 
What do you think? I could eat that all day. Really? And night. <laughs> it's quite nice. It's quite gentle, isn't it? Mm. But so, you know, if you do want to introduce chilli or spice into it, you can add that in as well to finish off. You all right? Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> James, you smell it. Right, gun in, lads. Choose a seat. I was waiting James here to sit directly next to the chicken, and he actually didn't. No, 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 which... uh, I, saw, I saw Charlie trying to barge me out of the way. Right, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about what we got here, lads. Uh, this is pita bread. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is <laughs> um, so, so lamb kebabs. The chicken's tandoori chicken. So yeah, tuck in. Yeah. Kebab, anybody? Do you like some chicken? <laughs> For more foodie fun, make sure you follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook and subscribe to my YouTube channel.